talking Auburn football, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle. Okay, so a lot of guys hit the transfer portal uh, with this whole situation with Gus Malzahn and Brian Harson interchanging jobs at Auburn. But that's not to say that some of these guys wouldn't hit the portal anyway. You got guys like DJ Williams, who Auburn was going to depend on a little bit next year in the running game. Also, Mark Anthony Richards, who, I mean, got, got a lot of looks in that Alabama game, which kind of led to believe, hey, you know, this guy could possibly push the envelope for some playing time along with Tank Bigsby. Not the case. As soon as everything hit the fan, Mark Anthony Richards departs, goes back to Florida. I think it was Florida State that he went to. Um, DJ Williams, I think, went to Florida as well. No, went to Florida State. I might have those two backwards. And um, then you have Mark Anthony Richards that actually joined Gus Malzahn at UCF. Now, that leads me, you know, because I know we get tired of talking about all the players that left, the coach that left, and all that, this other stuff. But I, I just thought of a, a question that was brought to my attention via the comment section where he was kind of talking about the prospect of Bo Nix leaving. Um, not that he's going to leave at this point, but he was talking about during the whole uh, carousel of players leaving, why didn't Bo leave? Um, Bo didn't have a tremendous amount, hasn't had a tremendous amount of consistency success-wise. He's had some successful moments. Um, he's, you know, really done relatively well uh, in some areas. Still a lot of developmental opportunities. But at the same time, you know, <clears throat> when you really think about it, why didn't Bo leave? You know, he had an opportunity to get a fresh start, uh, maybe go to, hell, go to UCF with Gus. Or go to a, a, another power, you know, maybe lower end power five school or FBS school that could really accentuate his talents um, because he wouldn't be, maybe wouldn't be consistently playing five and four star players um, every game, which he just didn't perform well against at times. Um, this is a car cast, by the way. I haven't done one of these in a while. But I believe Bo Nix is loyal to Auburn. Obviously, his daddy played football here, uh, Patrick Nix. He's had already an Auburn great moment in the Oregon game. And I think that thirst to be one of the better football players that has ever come through Auburn quarterback-wise, I think that's still on his list of things to do. And I think if he left and decided to transfer, hit the transfer portal, go to another school, even if he was successful at that other school, I just don't think it will feel the same. It won't have the same meaning for both. Having prospected as wanting to be an Auburn Tiger pretty much as long as he's been conscious of his surroundings. And I think the ultimate fail for him would have been to give to give up on one of his the first dreams of his early life, his early career, is to be a good Auburn football player. Does he have the opportunity? I think so. I think I think he really does have the opportunity to kind of right the ship, to get some things in place. Um, I will say in the Northwestern game, statistically, that was one of his better games down the stretch. Had a nice pass to Elijah Canyon for a touchdown and um, made some things happen with his feet, stretched the game out a little bit. Uh, but like I said before, I think he has some opportunities to be successful. He's a great athlete. I mean, we can't take that away from him. Mechanic-wise, when he sets his feet, I mean, one of the better passers, um, you know, in the league. Um, but the erratic stuff is something that, you know, Bo Nix is definitely going to have to kind of uh, calm down on. But, I, but it's like I'm really, um, really excited to see how Bo Nix approaches this spring football training. Um, of course, there's going to be, I mean, there's going to be a, a battle at all positions. I think the quarterback battle is going to be the one that's highlighted the most. But, uh, you know, we just have to wait and see. But I think Bo Nix is loyal to the Auburn, his desire to want to be one of the more successful quarterbacks in Auburn. That's why he stayed. Kennard Vernon Stewart for the podcast, talking Auburn football. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle.